Hi, it's Mr. Bletcher here. We're going to continue our transformations uh, for reflection now. We're actually going to do some reflecting. So we're asked to reflect shape A in the x-axis and label the new shape B. Okay, so we've just been talking about that in the previous video. So the x-axis, there's the x-axis. Okay, I want to actually be on the x-axis. So that's pretty straightforward. So I draw my line of reflection on the x-axis. Sometimes this is called uh, y is zero. So if you can see where I'd be ticking off my y's, I would be through y is zero. They're the same thing. Okay, so there's my line of reflection along the x-axis. Okay, so the way we're going to do reflections is we're going to think about the corner points of our circle, of our triangle. So there's one of our corner points. And we're going to count along the squares into the line of reflection. One, two, and we're going to count out the same number across the other side of the line of reflection. Okay, one, so that is where I'm going to end up with one of my corner points or vertices. Okay, same thing for this point. Okay, I do one, two, and then one, two. That's where the other corner point is. And then the one up here, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there is my triangle. So I'll draw my triangle with my ruler. And we're asked to label it B. And sometimes, especially for Mr. Hegarty, you actually need to give the coordinates of all the corner points. So um, remembering that when we do coordinates, they always come x, y. So our x coordinate is 3, and the y coordinate is minus 6. And for this one, the x coordinate is 6, the y coordinate is minus 2. And for this one, the x coordinate is 3 and the y coordinate is minus 2. Okay, so Mr. Hegarty, in most cases, will probably want you to give the coordinates for all of the um, reflected corners of your shape. Okay, so next one then. So now we're going to be asked to reflect our shape A in the line x is equal to 1. So the first thing we need to do is draw a line of reflection, okay? So there's the x-axis. So I count along. There's x is 1. I draw my line of reflection, okay? And think about my corner points and I count along the grid into the uh, mirror line one two and then I count out one two that must be one of the points here we go so one two one two and this one is going to be one two three four five so one two three four five that must be one of the corner points so i'm going to draw it on i'm going to label it c because that's what it asks and then I'm probably going to have to give the coordinates of all the points on my new shape. So remember, coordinates 
can spell coordinates are always x, y. So there's my x coordinates minus 1, y coordinates 6. So this one, the x coordinates minus 4, and the y coordinates 2. And for this one here, my x coordinate is minus 1, and the y coordinate is 2. Okay. <coughs> Righty, so I can see we don't want to do that. So the next part of the problem is we'll just do a different reflection, uh, reflecting shape A, but now in Y is equal to minus 2. So there's my Y axis, so I count along my Y axis. Okay, until I get to minus 2. That's where my line of reflection is going to go, isn't it? So now, I'm going to take my corner points and I'm going to count into the line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's going to be one of the points. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's going to be one of the points. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we are end up slightly off the grid, but that doesn't matter. We're going to end up there. Oh, I should probably do that in blue, right? And we probably need to give the coordinates of the shape. So that's going to be 6 minus 6. That's going to be minus 10. So we want a 3 minus 10. And for this one here, 3 and minus 6. Okay. Now you can see that when we do, well that's going to be D, isn't it? When we do reflections, the size of the shape is unchanged. But we are sort of flipping it a bit. We're either flipping it left or we're flipping it right. You know, we're doing something into uh, to flip it around a bit. But it's the same size. Okay.